Happening tomorrow, a Winter Hawks legend and NHL Hall of Famer will be immortalized at Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Cam Neely played for the Winter Hawks from 1982 to 1984. He won a Memorial Cup in 1983 and went on to have a Hall of Fame career for the Vancouver Canucks and the Boston Bruins. Well, tomorrow night before the puck drops against Seattle, his Winter Hawks jersey will be retired. No player will ever wear number 21 ever again. Our Travis Tight caught up with Cam Neely before tomorrow night's jersey retirement ceremony. Uh, congratulations, you know, uh, with the with the Jersey retirement and and of course looking back on all those uh, wonderful years over at the Glass Palace. Uh, as you think back to that and and your number being retired, just what are the initial thoughts? What are those emotions like? Well, it's hard to believe it's 40 years. Let's put it that way. It seemed to go by in a hurry. Let me tell you that. You know, I'm excited to see you know the old teammates. I haven't seen a lot of them in plenty of years. That's for sure. Decades for sure. So it'll be a uh, uh, and I understand the turnout's going to be pretty high, which is great. Um, obviously, quite an honor to have a number retired. It's it's hard to put my head around it, you know, 40 years later, but it's uh, it's certainly something special. Yeah, it, it is interesting to try to, to frame that. I mean, you're certainly no stranger to um, high honors in the hockey world. Uh, where, where does this, this rank? I mean... You know, especially it being a, you know, it's the WHL, not the NHL, but it's the early days and where, where right. everything really blossomed from. What do you think about when you think about this jersey being retired? You know, just how special a year it was. I mean, I, I really didn't, you know, at, at 16, I was in Portland for a midget hockey tournament. Uh, our team came down from the Maple Ridge out, outside of Vancouver, Canada. Um, and uh, there was a Winterhawk scout that talked to me and a teammate of mine, this defenseman of mine, and asked if we'd uh, want to come and practice with the Winterhawks. And uh, I didn't think I could. I thought I was property of the Victoria Cougars, but he informed me that I was not no longer property of them. So I said, yeah, I'd love to go practice. And, and then I got invited to the Winterhawk training camp in September, made their team, and we win the Memorial Cup that year. It so happens to be my draft year, which I didn't really quite understand early in the season. I was just happy playing hockey and not going to school. <laughs> That, that Memorial Cup, what was what was that like to win uh, to win the Memorial? Oh, it was extremely special, obviously. You know, to go uh, deep in the playoffs, um, you know, in the Western Hockey League, obviously, you know, that year we lost actually in the finals, but because we were the host team, we, we still got into the big dance, which was kind of cool. But just anytime you, you win a championship, it, it just, it's something you take forever. You know, your teammates will be with you forever. Never, you'll never forget that team um, and the experiences that you we all went through to, to uh, ultimately win. So it's really something that, that stays with you for a lifetime, there's no question. That's so neat. What, what are you expecting, what would the emotions to be like uh, when you come back into Portland? When was the last time you've been, been back to Portland? Oh man, it's been a while actually. Um, <laughs> I went and watched a, a, a game a number of years ago, probably maybe 2010 maybe I came and watched uh, a game but it's been a while. it's been too long probably to <laughs> but I, I'm looking forward to it I mean I don't know how many people are still kicking around Portland and watched me play or watched us play but it'll, it'll be fun to get back there oh I, I just went to a game about two weeks ago and I I, I bet there's a uh, more than you expect uh, they're yeah, still filling up good. the seats pretty pretty, pretty good it's a lot of fun right. it's still a lot of Great. fun uh, a specific memory from you know this group of guys that you're going to see again uh, on on Saturday and and uh, or maybe just that season in general that really just sticks out. Yeah, it just it was just a really you know close group. Those I, I came to a team that was a good team to begin with. They you know they had a good year prior to to uh, 82 83. So I, I was stepping into a good team that they were fairly close and they welcomed us new folks, uh, new players uh, with open arms. Um, you know, obviously we got our chops busted a little bit, which happens, but uh, you know, for the most part, really close group of guys and you have to be to, to go that deep. Yeah, that makes sense. If you had to, um, I don't know if you're going to get the chance to talk to uh, the guys who are on the team now, um, but if you do, what, what uh, pieces of advice would you give them as they try to break through? I think it's just enjoy the moment, um, you know, try not to look too far ahead. I mean, now it's a little different. There's so much information out there. Like like I said, you know, I didn't even go to the draft. Uh, now it's televised. So uh, for me, it, it, I would just tell them just to just to live in the moment and, and uh, have fun, enjoy, 
enjoy what you're doing now. Mr. Neely, really appreciate your time. Uh, have yeah, so my much pleasure. fun this weekend and uh, congratulations. Okay, great. We'll, we'll take care. Thanks. Cam Neely looking good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can watch Neely's Jersey Retirement Ceremony right here on Portland CW tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. The game against Seattle is scheduled to start at 6.20. That's going to be a good game, too. Yeah.